Hey guys, welcome back. It's PTCGL time. I guess we should probably turn on the PTCGL music. We got merch while we're searching here. I'll go through that real quick. Uh, limited time, as always. Special order on the hoodies, uh, just because they're sizes. And uh, yeah, one time, one time special order. We are playing some more Zoroark. We got the stickers. Stickers, you can both order them with the hoodie. Uh, if you'd like, you can order stickers with the hoodie, have them shipped at the same time. Or if you're just getting stickers, you can get them immediately uh, just through eBay. I'll have the links down below. Let's see if we can't bang out some wins here today. All right, we're playing against Murky Pudding. Sounds delicious. I don't know. Is, is there such thing as clear pudding that it would be... Or transparent pudding that it would be murky. All right, Let's see if we can bang out some wings, wings, wins, some wins. Make sure you guys are hanging out. Happy hour tonight. If you're watching this when it goes up, come on in, join the Discord. You know the drill. We got a Badoof. All right, we got the Crobat at the start, which is pretty cool. Other than the fact that, I guess we got the we got the Gape Jaw. That's also good. It kind of sucks. Kind of sucks that uh, we can't get our hand size down all that much before we play the Crobat, but maybe, just kidding, maybe we can. We don't want to put anything down yet because we want to get our Gape Jaw in play. Did you uh, skip the PTCGL last weekend? But uh, we're getting we're getting back into it. <clears throat> there will also for uh, anyone wondering, no premiere next week. The the new Scarlet and Violet are coming out, so we're gonna stream that on twitch.tv slash blasty. Huh, Cape Jaw. Um, Evolution Incense is not really gonna do us any good here. I think we just Marnie. Playing against the Blissey. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they also have Mel Tanks in there. We probably should have been paying attention for that. We got a quick ball. Uh, we're gonna quick ball out a we can get the Crobat now, actually. Alright, let's go risky. We're risking it for the biscuit it. Um we can escape rope to get our hand size down. See if we regret that. I really want to use this canceling clone, even though it's not going to do anything for us. But I'm a little bit concerned that they're going to have mill tanks and then we're going to need it. It's okay. We'll get one last card. What in the sweet baby? Juicer is going on here. This is kind of a bad situation. I think we quick ball the quick ball. We don't want to get rid of our double turbos because we only run four of those in the deck. If we prized any of them, we are going to be in trouble. All right, so uh, that's it. That's all. We're going to end turn. We can take a Gengar out when we need him, if we need him. Uh, but uh, but we don't. We don't yet. Ultra Ball, Mel Tank, question mark. The Evolved Beaver. I would say that if if they did have a Mel Tank, they would have brought it out at that point, so they probably don't. We could have got rid of our canceling clone. Not the end of end of the world. Better to be safe than sorry, I guess. I still haven't had the opportunity to win a game because of the canceling clone, so that's uh, might be on the chopping block. <laughs> How's everyone doing, by the way, in the comments section? Let me know. Have you been playing any PTCGL? Are the people in the U.S. excited? Are you going to transfer your account over? I should probably make a, a follow-up video in terms of what you should do before you transfer your account. But in the reality is it doesn't really matter all that much. As long as you have 125 sealed packs of anything... Uh, when you transfer over, 
doesn't matter too much if you open before or after. Like if you redeem your, if you have a bunch of codes. Um, hmm. We can Marnie. I think we Marnie because we don't want to toss our double turbo. We're playing against a Lugia Blissey deck. Okay. Got another Gape Jaw. We got a an Evolved Beaver. We can cancel in Cologne or we can Ultra Ball. We're going to Ultra Ball you and you. We are going to get... Alright, we're reducing the living wiener dog out of her hand size, which is awesome. And that is also going to let us... We're going to Beaver first. Beaver and then we'll use our, our V-Star ability. Maybe. And the... Uh, the double turbo energy really wants to... Alright, let's get rid of another Gengar. We can always bring those back. <clears throat> um, we can use the double turbo energy to retreat, actually, since we're going to have to toss it out anyway. The ability to boss his orders would be really nice right now, but... Um, we're going to Phantom Star... We'll have a full bench. Unfortunately, we do not have... Okay, we can damage pump. 10 damage onto our beaver for extra extra damage. The Halucha, we don't need them. Um, quick ball, we can quick ball a... Quick ball the ultra ball. And get another one of these. And unfortunately, no boss's orders. Um, it doesn't really matter if we put anything else on the bench because we're going to severely knock out this beaver. And next turn, we'll have a, a fully another fully powered up Zoroark, provided we don't get marnied. Choose our prize card. Another Zoroark beast there. All right. Can evolve both of them. Once you have them on the bench, there's not really any downside to um, V staring your Zoroax uh, because all it does is give them more HP. They give up the same amount of prizes, so not like a V Max where you, you give up three. Lugia V star coming in extra dog. I haven't even read this bad boy. <clears> that <throat> don't have a rule box from your discard pile onto your bench. Interesting. 220 with Tempest Dive. Okay. He's getting another Lugia. The Archaeops. Was it once during your turn you may attach search your deck of two special energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon? That is pretty OP. We might probably even should play I mean you have to evolve into the Archaeops, so I guess it doesn't really make sense unless you're playing the Lugia to play him. That would definitely find your double turbo energies. Or any other, I guess any special energies, since you can you can get two Archaeopses out. What does he got? Powerful energy. One powerful energy does an extra twenty damage. It's a little scary. We're gonna do we're gonna take two forty, I guess. Oh no, because he's got the double double turbo. That's kinda gonna suck for him because he's not gonna KO us unless I'm missing Oh, he's got the choice belt though too. Oh, okay. We have the most what? Two powerful energies. He is gonna knock us out. Unfortunate. Wow, we got we got negative damage, plus damage, plus damage, plus damage. All kinds of damage modifiers on there. I didn't think he was gonna have the uh, the damage because he didn't have that. I don't know why he put the double turbo on there. Maybe he didn't have another one that he could attach. 
interesting. Turn of events. We might be in trouble here. We might be in trouble here. Um, we don't want to put the Halucha on the bench because he's not going to provide any damage. 210. I don't know why those Gengars don't stack in your discard pile. Where are we at? 260. So we need the damage, unfortunately. So we gotta get a Gengar. We would have liked to use the. I. Is it. Why is it. Is it highlighted because it thinks I still have my ability? The ability indicators are definitely broken. All right, we can Marnie. We want to be able to get a double turbo energy for next turn. I think there's only one left in our deck, which is a little bit unfortunate. We got two in the discard. We can evolution incense um, all. It's in our deck. Um, we can get something from our deck to thin it out. We don't want to thin it out too hard, but we kind of... Alright, let's damage pump 10 damage off of you. Put it on a beaver. Um, Ultra Ball, thin out the deck a little bit more. We need to hit that double turbo energy if we get knocked out, which is, looks like it's going to happen. Sucks that we only had um, that one prize that we took the first time around. So now we need three. <clears throat> uh, uh, where are our bosses at? We need to survive a hit. I suppose the Archaeops kind of works with the Blissey. It's kind of kind of terrifying. Kind of terrifying. 310 damage. Ouchie. Mouchie. <clears throat> Attaching more energy to the Blissey. Holy moly. That is a, that is a big dog Blissey. We need the double turbo energy or we lose, essentially. So what we're gonna do is we are going to Ultra Ball, you and you, doesn't really matter what. We're going to hit done. We're going to Beaver. I don't know why it's not indicating that I can use it, but it's not. Son of a gun. We can retreat, I guess. We do 250 damage. We're gonna do not enough damage if. All right, um, we kinda gotta do this. We need that double turbo. Holy mother of, mother of a gun. So we are going to, there's a Gengar, there we go. We had to scroll down for him. Gengar, um, we got max damage now. We can retreat. We're going to give him a Gengar kill. Hopefully they don't have the boss's orders. We're going to put this onto you. And we're going to end turn. So we got to hope that they don't set up the Lugia. And we got to hope that they don't have a boss's orders. Because <laughs> if they... They're going to end the game if they take two prizes here. 
another Blissey. Okay. We got a boss's orders finally. Now that we don't need it. I believe. We still have a chance. We don't have a chance. They get the Lugia, but the Evo Incense. We are we're gonna lose. We lose. That is the most unfortunate thing. I mean, they were gonna have the, probably have the Lugia this turn anyway, the V Star. We just didn't quite get what we needed to get in order to uh, to finish off the game. It was unfortunate that we uh, we discarded one of our double turbos early in the game. Usually not a good uh, good start. I, they don't hurry up. We're going to just concede because what? Did they? Do they not have another Lugia V Star? I didn't pay attention to what happened with the Evo incense there. Come on! All right, we might be okay. I lied. Maybe they have it in their prizes. Pokemon, one V Star. Maybe they only run a two-two line or something, and one of them's prized. We might be okay. We need that double turbo. We have like a one in three shot of the double turbo coming out. We can't really do anything um, in terms of drawing cards other than like the one per turn because we're going to end up decking out. We're right down to the wire. There we go. Nice. Um, okay, so we're going to boss's orders. We'll bring this bad boy into the active. We are going to retreat this bad boy. We are going to Got a damage pump. Damage pump onto you. Done. Okay. And now we are going to slam. Slam this bl blissy. We need to survive the other blissy. And if we do, we win. So, we kind of had a rough go, and it seems like they're also having a rough go. Since if they had the ability to boss, they won there. If they had a second Lugia that they could set up, then they would definitely be in good shape. I'm going to assume that they prized it, and it's one of those last two prize cards. Probably safe to assume. This is uh, also a, an extremely long game, but it's coming down to it. We gotta like uh, the close games, not the prettiest game, not firing on all cylinders for sure. Oh no, the crowbat! I was gonna damage pump the ten damage off of the crowbat as well. Which looks like it would have been a good idea. How much damage is he gonna do? One fifty. <sighs> Oh my god, we lived. The problem is now we need to... We need... <laughs> we have no way to retreat the Crobat. We have no way to retreat the Crobat. The Lugia is heavier. What's my last card? We need a switch. Oh, this sucks so much. Hmm. All right. So we unturn. We need this to be a switch. We need the last card on our deck to be a switch. I don't remember what it is. It doesn't matter anyway. That sucks so bad. We didn't have any balloons left either because we put it on the, the Zoroark and the Gengar to kind of maneuver around. But definitely a close game. Well played. I thought we were doomed there and then we definitely had the ability to come back. 
We're getting getting it rubbed in. All right, game number two. We do not have any time for embarrassment overtime, so this is it's just gonna be what it is. If we win, if we lose, I'd like to at least get one win though. Playing against Sylvie Bia. Okay. Sweet doo doo daddy. Come on, I believe. Tails never fails. We're going first. We are going first. All right, Zoroark start. Not bad. We do want the Gape Jaw. Would be really, really nice to uh, to get early. Got some kind of weird red line around our Pokemon here. Red Jace. Okay. We've got a double turbo. We got an evolution incense, which I guess we can grab a Gengar. Quick ball the Gengar. Get one of these bad boys, I suppose. Um, we can quick ball the air balloon. Again, reduce our hand size as much as possible. Get a beaver, maybe. Beaver or another Zoroark would be nice, but it's okay. We're just reducing reducing our hand size here. Playing against the red ice. With the Reggie deck. Uh, Zoroark, cool. And I guess we can. We went first, so we can't attack. It's just telling us that we can retreat. Okay, we don't need to play the Gengar yet. We can wait till we actually need to put them on the board in case there's other stuff that we can play that will be more useful. We need to be attacking next turn. We got the Ultra Ball though. We can Ultra Ball a Research and a Marnie to get our Zoroark. Just to be sure. I mean, we can Research and get the Zoroark and Evolve our Beaver, but we'll, we'll worry about the Beaver later. Beaver can stay a baby Beaver for now. Reggie Gigas, Reggie Alecki, Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock, we gotta be a little bit worried about. He's gonna smack us. Extra juicy. For double damage. Alright, so that's kind of sucks. Unless we get something good here. Not bad. Alright. We'll take it. We got the Zoroark. We got the Beaver. Actually, this is probably a better spot for us than, uh, than we were in previously. It's going to regigate us, I guess. Ultra Ball. I still wish that they would flip the cards around the other way so that... I mean, when you hover over them, it can show it like this. That's fine, but... Your opponent should be looking at their own cards. Not sure why they're sticking with that decision. Okay, even if he Reggie Gates, it doesn't really matter. Because he's got a full bench. Oh no. I don't know if, if we evolve, then it doesn't matter. I'm guessing. Alright. Canceling clone. Alright. I think if we evolve, it doesn't matter. Does it show us what the... I thought if we evolve the status changes, but maybe not if it's... I don't I don't know, guys. I don't know. Alright, let's beaver. Alright, 
We need a switch. We need a switch. We can. Un but he's got the. Okay, maybe the the down arrow is just the fact that I have the double turbo on. All right, prof research. Let's let's get it. Do we switch just to be sure? Cape jaw. We need damage on our dudes. We need a damage damage pump, if you will. Damage pump. One thirty. We do enough damage now. I'm really, really concerned that uh, we're gonna switch. I'm pretty sure I was gonna be able to do damage because I evolved my Pokemon and it counts as a different Pokemon at that point. But I'm not totally certain. We got an Evo Incense. We got a Gengar that we need to put on the bench. Evo Incense, we can get a Gengar, I guess. And we can do the old Phantom Star. Okay. Alright, damage pump, sweet doo doo daddy. We can take one of you, put it on you, one of you, put it on a beaver. Okay. It'd be nice if we had another Zoroark to set up because. But we don't. We're gonna have enough damage anyway. Got 230, more than enough to uh, to KO a Reggie. One prize card at a time is going to be painful. That's kind of the the trade off. The single prize decks. It's a pain in the butt. We gotta we gotta KO six Reggies. He only has to knock out three Zoroark. <clears throat> Capture energy, so he's gonna get to use his ancient wisdom nonsense. Once again, we could have. Guess we can boss out the Reggie Gigas. He probably has another one somewhere in his deck anyway, but. I'll just keep tanking hits. We need uh, another Zoroark that we can send in as a fresh, fresh one. That would be kind of uh, helpful too. If we had a f even a fourth one set up, we can, after they get damaged, we can retreat them out. 280. We are going to get knocked out by this Regirock though, which is unfortunate. Ultra Ball, that's pretty good. I don't know if we bother, do we take out the Regigigas so we can't keep powering stuff up, and then the Regirock's gonna KO, one hit KO something again, so. Damned if we do, damned if we don't. Come on. I believe, I think we're, uh, we might be boned here. Not a great matchup for us. It's definitely not a good matchup for the Flareon deck either, it's just... We give up too many prizes. We lose the prize trades, especially when a Reggie Rock can one-shot us. <laughs> Where he's all set up already. At least we were attacking from the get-go. can quick ball a research. And get a Zoroark. Ultra ball. We can prop research, I guess. Cape Jaw. We can air balloon. We can choice belt onto you, cause why not? We can't. Although we can't evolve them until next turn, so we can use the Ultra Ball then. Kind of sucks that we don't have anything to. Hmm. Let's Ultra Ball now, just to reduce our hand size, so we can Beaver. Double turbo energy? No. We did get another Zoro work, which is pretty good. Alright. We're gonna knock out the Reggie Rock. We gotta hope that they like brick somehow here. So 
If they can keep setting up Reggie Rocks, then we are Reggie dead. Not good for anyone involved. Our opponent's gonna choose a new active Pokemon. Who are they gonna put out? Regice, maybe? And hopes with the Blizzard Bind, but it's okay. If they Regice, then we can. We got an air balloon on this active Zoro, so we can retreat him out. So that one of the other two can attack. The only thing is, we need the double turbo energy to show up. We're running out of cards in our deck, which is also not good because we got to knock out four more Regis. So we can't go too aggressive on that. We might have to Marnie. Marnie might be the play. We can evolve both of these Zoros if we have one in our deck. Then maybe we Marnie so that we don't deck out. I mean, we could prof, but if we prof, we have to basically just all around full out stop drawing cards after that, which I think is fine. Seven. Well, have them we'll only have three turns, so now we can't really prof. We can't prof. We need double turbo energy, please. Regirock is gonna be back in the active. Son of a f Son of a flip. It's okay. Maybe they won't be able to Regirock us next time. Kinda sucks that we're losing our Zoroark with the balloon on it. But I mean if we have two double turbo energies. How many double turbos? We got one on the discard, one on him. So we have two more for our two Zoroarks. We can retreat with the double turbo if we need to. If he can't Reggie Rock, if he, I mean, if he Reggie Rocks again, then we're just we're done, son. Rough games, rough, rough two games so far. All right, Reggie Rock is about to pump us full of. Regicock. Not cool, Regirock. Not cool. Maybe we put this one into the active. Alright, we're in trouble. Badoof. We can Evo Incense. Alright. We can't Evo Incense. We can Marnie. We need double turbo energy or we just straight up lose. We just straight up lose. Alright, that's game. Uh, we basically needed the two double turbo energies and I think they probably had the means to bring the Reggie back if they had like items to do so. Alright, two losses. 0-2. On this beautiful Saturday. What are they doing? Maybe we'll collect some cool prizes after this third game. Hopefully. Something. Hopefully we get a win here. I gotta win. We gotta win one. Two girls beating up on us. Now we're playing against Crazy 844. I guess Crazy 888 was taken. Let's go first. See if we can't pull out a crazy crowbat start. Crazy crowbat start. We got a whole lot of no basic Pokemon. Sweet. Dragon deck. Maybe. What are they playing? Hopefully this game gives us some of the RNG that we need. We got a gape jaw off the start. That is huge. That and the Zoro work. Gotta like it. Applin. Is this is is the game just going to give us a, a free game because we we've been sucking so hard? Quick ball. We got a baby beaver, we can quick ball the Gengar. We can get a crowbat. Kind of sucks that we have three cards in our hand, but whatever. Not a big deal. Crobat's going to take damage, which is nice. Going to help us out there with that. 
another quick ball. I think we quick ball the boss because we probably don't need it. We should have, um, instead of, I guess it doesn't matter. We get an ultra ball as well. All right. Ultra ball. We could actually ultra ball. Oh, I wish I could undo that. That's where we should have. Um, we should have got the Gengar there, and I don't know why I was thinking that I could evolve my Bidoof, because we just, it's first turn, and we just played him, so we definitely could not, but next turn we got double Professor's Research, essentially, with our Zoroark and our Juniper, what a babe, still think the Juniper Milk Cartons are Underrated. I think it's just that they were printed in such excess that people are just like, don't like them. We're going to blame it on that. Juniper milk for days, baby. Great product, in my opinion. Awesome promos. Awesome playable promos. Zoroark, come on. Give me a win here, baby. Reggie Drago. With the Dragon's Horde. Okay. The Applin. Are we. Did we just get matched up against. Is this. A, am, am I playing against a real thing? Does the game just feel bad for us? It's been too long. I haven't seen any of the uh, the new decks either with Silver Tempest. Well, I guess we did. Well, today for the first time saw the uh, the Lugia. Lugia, a little bit terrifying. Not gonna lie. We have a fly of some kind. Get it here, fly. All right. We got a double turbo energy off the bat. Like the game is just, it's in full pity mode. It knows. That we're having a rough go. So it's going to help us out. It's going to do us a solid. Um, I don't really want to use my... We're going to get... We don't even need to get anything. Why is my... Oh, he's preventing all damage. We don't have a switch either, which is kind of sucky. All right, I think we just, I think we just um, end turn. I really don't want to get rid of that double turbo energy. We can't attach it to anything else, so we kind of, we're kind of left with no options. Eldegoss, we got an apple ton. All right, what is he gonna do here? Are we gonna get cheesed by some ridiculous crap? 80 more damage. Gonna do 160 to us. Okay. For two energy. It's going to do 70 damage to us with thick mucus. I absolutely hate this Apple Ton. I've pulled it like 7 billion times. I think anyone that's opened a lot of Evolving Skies probably knows that pain. The Barfing Apple. Barfing Apple Dragon. Reggie Drago V. Cool. So apparently that's playable and or good. Cool. 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So we can play the Manaphy, I guess. Ow. All right. We're gonna play the Manaphy. I'm gonna play the double turbo onto you. We are going to play a gape jaw. We are going to. Do we want to target down the Reggie Drago? Do we feel like we need to? Alright, we're going to research. We're going to boss's orders. We're going to. 
We do 180 right now. We're going to Phantom Star. We need to get a couple more Zoros set up here. There's a second Zoro. A damage pump would be cool. We don't want an escape rope. Um, we don't really want a canceling clone. Another Zoro work on the bench would be cool. But. We got a, we got a Gengar. Huh. 230. We're good. Damage pump would be nice so that we can get some. Did we, did we play the mana feed before the Gabe Jaw? Why? What is wrong with me? We got a damage pump anyway, so. That'll fix that situation. Appleton is about to KO our Zoroark. Not a big deal. They're gonna get the Reggie Drago back, question mark. Lance? What does Lance do here? Three Dragon Pokemon. Alright, alright. I see ya. Oh, we got the, the PlayStation 5. Very cool. Crazy Dragon deck. I don't know. This has to be a real thing, right? Appletons. I don't really totally understand the point of the Appletons, but... Maybe it's a thing? Crowbat. Okay. Crowbatting. Another boss's orders would be kind of nice. All right, I think I, th I think we're okay. We might not be, but this one prize crap is a pain in the butt. At least it has to two shot us. Uh, it would be nice to KO another Reggie Drago here. Okay, we're we're energy switching. Does he have a switch to to retreat the Appleton? We used our V Star ability, which sucks because. Could really use another boss's orders right now. Alright, we are going to Ultra Ball a canceling clone. And the escape room. Sucks because we're gonna Marnie away. Alright, damage pump. Let's take 20 damage or 10 damage off of you and put it onto you. Double turbo onto you. I don't think I Marnie just because I can. If we get a boss's orders, it doesn't really matter because... Screw it. So we're not going to take the 30 damage to our bench because of our mana fee, which is pretty sweet. Um, it's going to put the Reggie Drago out. It's going to do 130. Unless he's got a Reggie Drago V Star, what's it do? During your turn, you may discard the top seven cards of your deck, then put two cards from your discard pile into your hand. Okay. Choose an attack from a dragon Pokemon in your discard pile and use it as this attack. Is there anything in there that's ridiculous? Oh no! What's he got? Two twenty. Okay, I think we're I think we're okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I guess that's why, is that why they play the Duraludon? 
I'm gonna have to look up some of these deck lists at some point. Oh, we got a Rayquaza in there. Okay, we got a Gudra. What does the Gudra do? Gudra, 200 damage. Takes 80 less damage. I wonder if that actually applies. If it's using the attack, maybe it does. Okay. Alright, he's doing the discardy McCarty thing. Does he have any other Pokemon in there now that are scary? So far, I think we live. Is he going to use Energy Hurricane? I'm really upset that Canada does not get the GameStop promo for the Dragonite. I don't know. They, we used to have EB Games promos when before it changed over to GameStop branding. Um, then we were getting the GameStop one as well as the US, and now we didn't get one. Which kind of sucks. So it sucked to begin with that we were getting the same one as the US, because at least it was like something exclusive or special for Canada. And now, now we get nothing. I don't know who made that decision, but whoever did, I hate you. Went to GameStop today and uh, did not get what I wanted. All right, we're in good, we're in good shape here. So we can switch even. That's pretty cool. Switch. We can damage pump off ten damage for for funsies. We never evolved their beaver this whole game. Interesting. We can Marnie, just in case we get a boss's orders. Would be cool. We didn't, but you know what? It's gonna be okay. Uh, 200. And 30. We're not have, we don't have enough damage. Oh, because he's gonna take less damage. Son of a... Son of a gun. Thirty... What is this bar? Thirty out of 280? Oh, his health. I was like, what the hell? I thought it was like an XP bar or something. Guys, ignore... Ignore what I'm saying. I don't know why that's even a thing. Attached energy three. We got like a spreadsheet here of what's going on with the Pokemon. Does it show like abilities? Status effects underneath? But it doesn't show it for my own Pokemon. It doesn't show it for my own active Pokemon. Maybe it's supposed to. It's hard to tell what is a, a glitch in this game and what is intentional. All right, it's gonna pick an action. Let's go. Pick your action. I think we win this game. Unless he has some kind of magical crap that he can pull out of his butt. We should be good. Moving cards to the other Reggie Drago. Okay. We're okay with that. Doesn't matter. We're going to knock this one out, then we're going to knock that one out. What in the hell is going on with the hollow foil on this? Is that supposed to be Cosmos? Flapple? Alright, canceling Cologne. Status effects, none. I don't trust anything this game tells me. Alright, we're going to swing for the fences. 310 damage. We got it. Another air balloon. We got flash banged. They still didn't remove the flash bang feature. I'm surprised that people weren't like complaining. Um, surely people that are like light sensitive or whatever. Not a great feature for them. It's like the world's longest three games. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta win this last one. It's a lot of gameplay. Three very long games. 
we can do it. I believe. Show us the win. Weird. We got a weird grass thing going on. Flipping a coin. Heads. What a prick. All right. I wish we had a boss's orders. That would be nice right about now. Um, we only need to knock out anything and he needs four prizes so I mean we can we can Marnie and then just in case he feels like stalling for ever and a half we can boss it in the butt All right we can evil incense a beaver done Damage pump. All right, let's use our beaver teeth incisors for days. We can damage pump two more damage counters off of this boy. We end turn. We do zero damage to the apple. I find that hard to believe. Energy recycler. Okay, can you just knock out one of my Zora works already? We still have an air balloon in our hand too, so even if he brings something else into the active and stalls for 12 more card draws, I guess he's only got eight cards in his deck, so even if he can flip heads every time, all the time, we're in good shape. Is he gonna do the thing where he survives? I need a boss. Where are my bosses at? Trainers. Two bosses in the discard. That uh, explains that. Come on. Pick your action. We're gonna see too if he uses the thing that like reduces damage taken. If if it shows up on his stat sheet or whatever you want to call it, I don't. I still don't understand why my active Pokemon doesn't show that. Got a knocked out. Hmm. All right. Let's put our Beaver in the active. We can quick ball. Quick ball the Halucha. Get a Zoro. I guess I should have not gotten anything with that. We can get a balloon. We can use our beaver teeth. Beaver teeth! He has no status effects. We have... One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. I've given up on the boss. We are not getting one. You're going to do our 310 damage. I'm pretty sure if he used the, like, whose ability was it? There was one of the dragons that had, like, a take 80 less damage. If it applies. I'm assuming it does because he used the attack, but I think that would have uh, made it so I couldn't KO him. But 
All right, we did it. We got a win. That was a struggle and a half. All right, we got two collector mabobs. Tier 16. Does, does the tier never... All right, we're going to collect six rewards. I guess the, uh, the battle pass just reset. I haven't played any games since the Silver Tempest stuff came out. 25 dusters. A Serena. Sharon, a V Garrett energy. Pokemon Go for some reason. Okay. Four to four Meltans. Four to four Laprai. I guess Pokemon Go would be pretty good in terms of getting crafting materials, but um, we don't we don't really need those. We, we don't. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Join the Discord. See you next time. Bye.